Good evening, folks. So we're doing another one of the random chance shaves. Today, the soap that I ended up with was at the top of the pile. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is Noble Otter Lone Star. It happens to be another one of my favorites. I'm a big fan of that soap. It is very similar to the Barrister and Man. Uh, obviously different scents. For the blade, let's find out. Uh, what do we got? Can you guys see this? Okay. Whatever this is. This is Gillette Nascent. So again, we're getting another Gillette product. Uh, and these are, again, we, we happen to grab two in a row. These are excellent blades. Vid, not, not quite the right one for me normally. You know, some people absolutely love these blades and for good reason. Uh, they, they are very good. They're just not, they didn't do any better for me than some of my other favorites. These have these same freaking little tabs, like glue tabs that Gillette always does. It drives me nuts. Figure out, maybe in the new factory, uh, they're, they're moving their production for a lot of these blades to a new factory or several new factories. Ooh, ooh, let's not cut myself. Uh, maybe they'll change up how they package it and we won't get those stupid glue tabs. Razor is ready. If you are new here, this is a Mercur 42C Basically the same razor, 34C, different handle, and it goes together differently, same razor. We are going to use Geo Trumper Skin Food as my pre-shave, and Simpson Trafalgar 2 as the brush, synthetic brush. We're gonna let that hydrate a little bit while it's doing its thing. And we're gonna get our lather ready. One of the things that I've noticed about this soap, it is relatively thirsty. Uh, if you want a liquidy, you know, very well hydrated lather like I do, uh, it takes a fair bit. <clears throat> Some soaps, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot of water to create that kind of lather. Uh, other soaps take a lot. This is one on the upper end, but not not the thirstiest I've dealt with. I'm sure there's even thirstier than I've encountered. The number of soaps I've used is, I mean, not tiny, but certainly not massive. A little more. Okay, I'm about to go put it on my face and we're not actually finished prepping. A little Spanish leather. I hope the lighting is working out. I actually turned down the intensity of that light of hair. <clears throat> it was just overloading things yesterday. Lump some leather here.
any of you more experienced guys, if you have a better suggestion for a brush for wet lather like this, hit me up. <laughs> something, something not terribly expensive. I'm trying not to spend a bunch of money on this just for convenience. Okay, we're gonna do this the same way I always do. Regular three pass shave. Kind of cheating, that was mostly against the grain there. For that last little bit. Let's see. I'm gonna have to figure something out with this light. It's the lower frame of the light is like right where I'm trying to see for my jaw.
Okay, we're not going to do any extra cleanup. I kind of built it into the shade. Uh, and we're not going for super close. Uh, just because with that razor, I don't get it. Uh, it just is what it is. Uh, we'll see how this one went. But certainly felt very nice. Uh, the nascents are a pretty smooth blade. Uh, they give me a relatively irritation-free shave even when I push it like I did uh, and combine that with the very good lather and the quality pre-shave product. Despite all the buffing and going over areas that really the lather was gone, eh, I'll be fine. I think in the interest of fairness to the nascent, because we had two pretty good blades in a row and two good uh, soaps in a row, we're going to use the same post shave. We're going to say, you know, use the uh, Barrister Man Spice to see if I have any sting, because I didn't yesterday. No sting. So let's see how we did. Go over my trouble spots. Pretty good. Um, didn't do great right there. It's one of my hollow areas. And I didn't get as close to my mustache as I'd like. Right there again. Not great. Neck is pretty good. Those two spots, you saw me hit them pretty hard. They're uh, trouble spots, but they're, they get good really easily, but they don't get great really easily. This was uh, very good. You're, you know, we're not excellent, but we're not bad. Overall, I'm gonna give that a little better score than yesterday. Uh, and I mean, I'm not comparing the two and saying that, you know, the razor blade and the soap were better. I'm just saying I got a better shave today. Uh, might've just been that I went to more effort. Take care, have fun, enjoy your shave, folks.